the, the first thing I want to say is it was great to have Maddie Wise back in the building. Um, amazing person, uh, amazing cyclone, and, and she's going to do a great job coaching at, at Butler. I uh, also want to thank the fans. I thought it was a really neat environment, but uh, really proud of our team. Obviously, when you the game goes from 34-33 uh, to where it ended up, says a lot about the energy and effort. Uh, I'm, I thought my assistants had a phenomenal plan as to what we wanted to do, how we wanted to do it, and you know the message was simple at halftime. We had 11 turnovers and 28, 29 points. In the second half, we had four turnovers and 51 points. Um, and I think that's for our team. That's the way we have to go about it. But could not be more proud. Uh, that's a, that's a team that's going to win a lot of games. I, I, Austin does a phenomenal job there. But uh, it was great to see our team play that way and 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 play with a lot of interchangeable parts. We had a lot of different combinations, and uh, certainly great to see Nye back on the court. This one transferring from Butler, she probably had a little more juice in her today, but. Uh, very proud of our team. Bill, what you liked about the third quarter and how they they really, I guess, kind of got in sync there? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, the, the thing that we talked about a lot was we, we just made some really unforced, I shouldn't say unforced, we made some silly mistakes that they caused. I mean, every coach sits up here and, you know, sometimes you got to give the other team a lot of credit. I mean, they were double teaming us in the post. We didn't handle that very well. Uh, our post players had six of the 11 turnovers at halftime. Uh, I don't think they turned it over in the second half. Uh, it's just sometimes you, you get sped up and you're trying to our, – our big thing is make the simple play. There's no degree of difficulty in this sport, even though sometimes it, it – you know, the flair part of it. But it was just make the simple play, see the play. And I thought, I thought we – you know, we adjusted our um, ball screen offense a little bit. But – it, there wasn't any major secrets. It was just fundamentally doing things better. And, and then you make some shots, too. It's amazing when the ball starts to go in the basket how um, that happens. And, and some of that is based on, you know, if, you, if, if we're in transition, we're pretty good. Uh, defensively, we were pretty good for the first game. So uh, really, really pleased with what we showed. I think there were times where the inexperience showed and then, like, during the second half, that uh, that stretch where you guys put played really well is that something you're kind of expecting this season to to kind of see uh, maybe that type of inconsistency from one swing to the to the other? I guess. Yeah, I, I think the one thing I've told our staff is our freshmen are talented and they play really hard, and when they're in the game, something's going to happen. Might be good for us, might be good for them, the other team. It's but something's going to happen, and that's that's freshmen. And when you're playing three, four, five of them at the same time, that's going to happen. And then you look at, you know, Hannah's. That was her first game at this level. Uh, Nellie's, you know, first game at this level. She played Division One basketball, obviously, last year. But so I, I I think that question will be probably a yes in March, just like it is in November. I know you have the exhibition game, but this one really counts to have a win like this and to start off like this. What what can it do for such a, a young team? Well, I, I think the, the last thing I told them, well, before the game I said every season's a story. And there's very few times in life, I know that's you guys' job, but to be able to write your own story and how you want it to go, <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of that is how hard you do things, how committed you are. Are you invested or just interested? And this is the first part of that. And I, I think that it's it's really, really hard to win at this level. It's really hard to win. So when you win and you beat a Big East team like that, you you, you celebrate it, but you're, you're realistic and say, you know, it's probably a good thing we don't play till Sunday. Um, so it'll give us time to quit reading the press clippings and what's Coach Saban say, rat poison. You know, if everyone's going to tell them how great they were today. But, uh, you know, you want them to celebrate it and enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it's 1-0 it's, and is, is a good thing. And 
I thought we played as well as we could play, better than I thought we were going to play, to be honest with you. I really, I was, I'm not stunned by it, but I was pleasantly surprised by it. How so? We really hadn't practiced very well. Um, and, and I just thought that our energy level, and, and I, I don't I don't know. I, and But again, everyone thinks I'm mad all the time, which is probably true. Uh, but, or I expect things to go a certain way, but. I, I really, the energy before the game was good. I thought even when we weren't playing great, uh, it was good. The energy on the bench was good. Uh, so I think they're understanding what they have to do to be successful. And the, the excuse of freshmen, new, whatever, no one cares. No one cares. So let's get past that, and hopefully we're past it today at least. Curly, you kind of hit on it there a little bit, but if someone told you this morning when you woke up that, you're going to win this game by 27 points. What would you say? I would have said probably you guys were out too late last night or something. <laughs> um, no, I mean, the, the more we watch video, uh, they run a lot of good stuff. They're really hard to guard in the first game. You know, then they add, you know, Rachel Kent and, and, and Wiggins. So they, they added pieces to their team. Um, and you look at the like their video from last year, they do a great job of controlling the tempo of the game. So. There's no way, no no way anyone anticipated this. But, you know, the, the thing about Hilton is when we start playing hard and playing well and the fans are engaged and our kids are engaged, and like I said, from a basketball standpoint, not turning the ball over gives you a chance to score. And, you know, I think we were in the mid-50% range. And, you know, if they're taking the ball out of the net every time, it's a little easier to set your defense. And... Uh, you know, I've, I've been, always been a big believer. Your offense really, really can help your defense. And your defense can really, really help your offense. And I thought both sides of the – both ends of the court were really good. Coach, you mentioned your, your five freshmen. Um, have you had a season where maybe – you've had freshmen play before, but have you had a season where this amount of maybe expectations and playing time – and they were all five on the court at the end there. Have you had a season where you've had kind of this amount of expectations on a class like this? No, my God. I, no, I don't think so. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of my my. No, um, you know we've had some talented freshmen, but not the group. And I think the uniqueness of this group too is, is they all played kind of a different position. So you can play all five of them together. It's not like, you know, one's the starting running back and one's the backup. Or, I mean, we could easily play five of them in a relatively natural position. So I think that probably adds even more uniqueness to the group. So, um, yeah, I, I, I really – I'm getting old, John. I can't remember some of that stuff. But um, I don't think we have. Babe, have we? I don't think so. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah, you are with me, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, they do. I mean, they, they have um, – um, they have a little bit of confidence that might be a little too high sometimes. I, I, the, the analogy I, I, I told our staff was I watched a football game, I think it was Josh Allen, and he's throwing the ball, and they said he has arm arrogance. He really, like, some of our guys have a little bit of, like, I can make this play. Well, the other guy's guarding you too. So, uh, but I think because they play off of each other, and I do think, I really do believe this, they all committed here quite a long time ago. So we've had this group text, the five of them and myself, for a long time. So they know and they knew when they came here um, this was a, the possibility and, you know, especially with Emily out. So uh, they, they like it. They, they, they're, they're, they're definitely enjoying it, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've uh, ever really asked about plus minus, but being a hockey guy, Try to pay attention to it a little bit. I thought Kelsey Jones' number to go plus 34 stood out. I think plus 13 over everyone else is pretty. pretty yeah, I, I you know I know everyone likes that plus minus thing. I'm I don't do it like it's the hockey. It's it's the hockey. Well, my staff I have three staff members that think it's like the analytical golden child. I I don't know. It, but Kelsey was really good. I mean, she, you know, she hadn't practiced for four days. She her foot was a little sore after Truman, so we rested her and. She said she could go today, but and I and I, I I really thought, you know, they all were good, but there was about a six minute period in the third quarter, early fourth quarter, where I thought AJ was phenomenal. 
and I've been on her a lot, a lot, <laughs> um, a lot about what she has to do. But I, I, I think the game changed in our favor those six to eight minutes that she played. I really – she got us into offense. She guarded. She got a couple double teams uh, that we literally put in yesterday at practice. So I, I thought that was – a real huge point for our team and just the other guys kind of played off of her. You've talked about a little bit before. It's been kind of a journey throughout this offseason with such a young team. Was it refreshing for them to kind of just get out there and play in a regular season game? Yeah, I, I told them, you know, they. Uh, you think about all the work that a, a college student athlete does, basketball. They come here in June, they're lifting and there's study tables and there's rehab. I mean, all the stuff that they do. There's 365 days in a year, and you only get to play 30 times. I'm not big on, well, I couldn't get up for this game, whatever game. Are you kidding me? Like 30 times a year, that's it? Like all the work that you do is to play in a game, and you get to play out here? So I think they were like, they were bouncing off the walls. Like, like the locker room is across from where I'm at, and I'm like, what are they doing over there? It's like, my grandkids were having a party or something. So, um, but I, I do think they understand the opportunities, and we have stressed that with them at nauseum that this is this is a very short-lived deal, and it will go fast. Our seniors are sitting there going, it, it wasn't it wasn't that long ago they were freshmen. So, every chance you get, play, and you only get to play I think 17 times here. So. Let her rip and see what happens. And I thought the second, the last 15, 16 minutes of the game, that was, it was really good. You guys consistently went down low to Isno, Audi at times. Are those kind of the looks that you guys are trying to find this season? Yeah, it's been, it's been kind of a unique thing for us because we haven't coached physical, true, back to the basket post players ever at Iowa State. Um, so no, we work on it every day. I mean, Nellie and, and Audie are hard to guard. They create space, um, you know, and then that opens everyone else because now you got to come double team and then you kick it. So they're both, and they play off of each other really well. Uh, we have practiced them together. Uh, that was not going to happen tonight with the, the way Butler lines up. But, um, you know, the goal is to go into every game and they give us 40 minutes. And they just tag team each other. And one getting like, just go as long as you can, then we'll sub you out. Go as long as you can, we'll sub one out. And I thought, again, first half a little choppy, second half, both of them were really, really good. And like I said, that creates a lot of, I mean, I know how that is trying to guard the other guys, big people, because we, everyone we play usually has, Texas has seven of them, I think. But um, it's, I know how hard that is for the other team. And that's, that's not – I mean, I can tell you, our scout team guys, when we scrimmage and play, when Coach Carp says, you got Audie or you got Nelly, their heads drop because they're like, oh, my God. You know, I, so it's fun. It, it's fun to do that, and they're going to impact our team a lot. You talked about her earlier, but just really how big of an impact did Nye make on that turnaround in the third yeah. quarter? I mean, just – no, I, I, you know, I'm not big on best player in the game, or I know football gives out game balls, but Nye was the best player on the court for us. Um, her versatility, her willingness to score, she defended, uh, played with a lot of energy, um, you know, just everything she did, you know, rebound, score, defend. Uh, but that's what we need. I mean, you know, when all of our new guys are looking around, they need to see some – one that's like, hey, I've been here, done that. So just calm down. She was really good, really good. Thank you, everyone. I know it's a long day. Appreciate your time. Thank you.